What's up, y'all? How's it going? This is Mitchell Pigsley here with another Logic tutorial. And as you can see, there is a different backdrop, which means I am in a different place. And that place is college! Fuck yeah. So, hopefully, if you didn't watch my other video, I think I mentioned it, but I'm going to be starting to come out with these more often and quicker and over a more variety of topics. So, get ready. Um, this one is going to be over slowing audio tracks down and speeding them up. Uh, this is a very kind of small hidden feature, function, whatever you want to call it, inside of Logic. Um, I love it. I use it whenever possible. Actually, I know I overuse this. Um, so hopefully you will enjoy this and use this as much as I do. Because it's awesome. Alright. So, check this out. I have an audio file loaded in here. It's green, I know. I don't know why it's green. It's supposed to be blue. Usually they're blue. But you know what? Ask me if I care. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, so I'm going to play this for you. This little audio file. And it's going to sound like... Alright, there you go. That is what the audio file sounds like. It's bumping. It is bumping. So, what we're going to do is we're going to speed it up right at the beginning and slow it down right at the end. And to do that, we have to have a little bit of help from our friend, the fade tool. Escape zero. Escape zero. Right here. Escape zero. Right there. Boom. Um, and then when you hover over that audio file, there's that little, like, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know what you call it. Your cursor changes. And as you... Uh, let's just start in the front. I'm going to bring it to the front, and I'm going to drag it out. If you haven't used the fade tool before, it is very useful. Uh, it's just pretty much just fading volume into the track without having to mess with your automation. Very helpful when you don't want all that shit on your automation line. So what it's going to be like is... It just increases volume. That's all it does. It's pretty boss. Okay. So, to make this a fade in, or no, sorry, it is a fade in. To make this a speeding up kind of uh, sound, what you're going to do is come over here to the left bar and check speed up. And this little white fade in is going to turn an orange, red, yellow combination puke gross color. Okay? That means it is in this new... Uh, it has a new purpose, and that is it's speeding up. So um, I'm just going to straight up play it just like that, and it's going to be awesome. Check this out. So uh, that's just like a, I don't know, I like a vinyl, I guess you can say, more of a vinyl, like speeding up the vinyl um, effect. It's sick. So um, what more you can do with these is change the curve and you just click on that line and move it up or down and you can mess with the curve in which it um, in, in which it fades in I guess you could say in which it speeds up so with this one it's gonna go it's gonna speed up faster and then slow down I'll just pay play this one for you see what it sounds like and then I'm gonna do this so you're going to want it around right in the middle. Usually mine's like... My usually mine's around here. I'm sure you can find other um, audio files that would make the sound a little bit better. I'm going to extend this a little bit, see if I can get a cooler sound from it. So it's very useful. It's very fun. And to do the slow down, you guessed it, do the opposite. So I'm going to fade this out. I'm going to go from fade to slow down, and it's going to turn that orangey grosh peak color again, and that means you're going to be slowing down since it's from the right of the audio track, the end of the audio track. And then I'm going to put a little bit of curve on it and show you how this sounds. Get that repeat off. That sounds a little bit better. That sounds a little bit cooler. 
So, um, use this for all of your techno. Um, pretty much anything. All of your remixes. All that shit. It's useful. Hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, I actually recorded this earlier. And for some reason, the file was corrupted or some bullshit. So, YouTube didn't accept it. I was peeved. I was peeved! So, uh, that's right. Peace out, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. You know the deal.